No matter the season, no matter the video, no matter what we do on this channel, the most requested video to be made all the time is Michael McCrudden before they're famous. Now this is how I know you're a newbie to this channel. You missed out on us pre 1 million subscribers because that's when I did my own before they're famous video. And it was a whopper, 22 minutes long. And in it, I made zero mistakes. Now on there, I touched upon all aspects of my life prior to fame, from the boy to now, a grumpy old man. Let's just roll a clip. Before Michael McCrudden would surpass 1 million subscribers on his YouTube channel with his Before They Are Famous, After They Are Famous, Before They Are Dead, and other various series. Before Michael McCrudden would meet his lifelong idol Jim Carrey and get to watch him in action during the filming of Dumb and Dumber 2. Over this past weekend, there was a new online trend. You may have seen it. Hashtag old headshot day. It was trending on Twitter, and all the celebrities, well, they fell into my trap, giving me thumbnails for an endless amount of future videos. So much power. So uh, what is a headshot? Well for those of you who are more familiar with Fortnite than acting, a headshot is not this. Oh! It's this. Now myself having being a child actor and then a teenage model and you know I still go out for auditions from time to time, I've got a lot of headshots. Baby ones, teenager ones, 20s, 30s, there's a lot. So I'm going to share with you some of these headshots and we'll discuss, but we'll do that a little later in the video. For now, let's look at the most popular ones trending from Hollywood. First up, we got Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That kid got started about as young as I did. Emma Watson, okay, even younger. Love the pink on pink. Melissa McCarthy, um, she's rocking a tiny cowboy hat. I guess uh, you really need to spell it out. I'm the chubby chick and I do comedy. There's Carly Kloss. Now, I always thought she was a porn star. Just forgive me. With that kind of name though, she might as well be. Sarah Michelle Gellar, she's looking like a snack. Reese Witherspoon, she's looking underage. Okay, Ben Stiller, great photo, but you can tell his parents were in the business because this is the most legit. Like he wasn't doing the flyer auditions. He went straight into TV and film or Broadway or whatever. I don't know what he did. Now Fint Whitrock, I'm not entirely sure who this guy is, so then I went ahead and looked him up. I'm still not really sure, but this photo was very popular. He was in the assassination of Gian Versace, which was a pretty damn good show. Okay, there's tons of dudes that were in on this trend. There was Chris Pratt, Ryan Reynolds, Judd Apatow. Now uh, he wrote with his, you see a big guy in a small couch equals funny. Bemused expression equals I get it, life is crazy. Book me at your clubs and colleges today. The Property Brothers. Now once upon a time, these guys guys were actors. I never knew that. Will Sasso, he had a really good caption. He wrote, I've been playing early mid 40s since I was 15. Matt Damon, now he doesn't have Instagram, but his BFF, Ben Affleck, well he posted on his behalf. Penelope Cruz, my god, she's looking like a snack. Gerard Butler, he too, looking like a snack. I mean, sorry. Uh, Laverne Cox, looks the same. I think that's like 10 years ago. Pierce Morgan, at 19. He, he hasn't changed at all. Zach Braff, now he posted a few headshots, and there was even one where he was a crossdresser. I guess he was just covering all his bases. This one might surprise you, it is Josh Gad. Now his caption was, it's no surprise the bench got more work than I did for the first three years. But look at you now, bud. You're like the king of Hollywood. One of the most popular ones of all came from Kumal Nanjania. Kumal Nanjani? He's Indian, you should know. Yeah, but. Even Kevil doesn't know, okay. Uh, well anyway, he said this was a high risk shoot. I almost set my unibrow on fire. Everyone loves that. Stephen Colbert, I don't remember ever being this happy in my 20s. Good one. Okay, there's Nick Jonas, there's Joe Jonas, and the other Jonas. Ryan Seacrest, highlights and hair gel. Still waiting to hear back from that boy band I auditioned for. Boom. Warwick Davis, this photo was taken when I was 18, hashtag mullet. I'm surprised I was ever offered any more work. Despite the mullet, you still, you know, he's not going in for like tall, dark, and handsome. He's an oddity. You're obviously gonna get a bit of work, hopefully. Okay, Viola Davis, she said, I was feeling myself during this shoot. This is one of the more popular ones, it was shared everywhere. Had me wondering what the hell is she feeling under that coat. Guess she was feeling her. No, I don't get it. Okay, then there's Courtney Reppert. I really don't have any idea who this girl is, but I made sure to give her a follow. Now the worst headshot I stumbled upon while compiling this list, it came from an actor by the name of Jay Lindsay. Take a look at this photo. I know, I know, I missed old headshot day, so I just decided to do new headshots instead. This is the new headshot. And this guy is, uh, he doesn't get it. He has no idea. He, um, mm, he made me want to go look up <laughs> how many acting jobs he's booking with this headshot. I went to his IMDB, he's been in the business since 2011, 
but frankly, it's, it's, it's mostly short films. Then I started reading the captions a little more, and uh, he thanked his, 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 the person who put the clothes on him for the wonderful looks. He has no idea that this is the worst headshot that's ever been made. It's just a lot of pits. Like I'm looking for where it says sponsored by X Deodorant, right? But I'm really not one to talk. I've made bad decisions in the past. Check out this one of me in a beater. <sighs> Wanted to show off them guns. All right, there's a few more old headshot day photos. These are coming from YouTubers. First one being from Hank Green, and uh, that's not a headshot. Now, seeing as most YouTubers got to skip out on the whole acting industry stuff, they kind of posted old photos rather than actual headshots. Laura DIY. Well, she posted her passport photo. <laughs> okay. Grumpy Cat, he got in on the fun. Joey Graceffa, still looks the exact same. Trisha Paytas, looking like a snack. Trisha Hirschberger, looking like an Aziland kind of snack, if you know what I mean. All right, as promised, we're gonna walk through uh, a few photos of me, because I can't be making fun or talking crap about all these people and, and, and not do it to myself, it's only fair. So let's go back to, um, okay, here's my childhood photo. Nothing bad you can say about that guy. That guy's killing it. 2007, so I just got out of university. It's so funny, because you go to university for theater and film, which I took, don't do it. Uh, but they never even teach you like where to get a headshot, how much to pay for a headshot, what to do with your headshot. So I like graduated, and I guess that's how you get a job. I'm like, that wasn't even in my curriculum. Anyway, I got this photo taken. It was about $250. Looking back, I don't really think, um, I booked some work with it, but it's not a good headshot. Like it doesn't really explain my height, my size. It's just like generic white guy in a jacket. Great jacket though. I lost that jacket in Australia. Damn it. Okay, 2010. So these were not done professionally. I was working uh, on movie sets. My buddy got into photography. So one day we ripped around the studio and decided to like take our own photos. You can just see some of them are overexposed, bad lighting. My pants were covered in paint. That was not the photographer's fault, that was my fault. I was looking like a bit of a snack back then. All right, moving on to 2015. Now these are, a maybe 2013, I'm not sure. Uh, Cause you have to like update your headshots every like couple years. This one's like, these were good, these were good. I look good, I was skinny, I have big hands. The claw, the, the beater. The beater was a bad idea. Yeah, so that's the photo I posted for my old headshot day. There's more recent ones I've taken like in 2015. Those are the ones uh, in the, the banner on this channel. And um, I'm putting off taking any more because I don't want to, uh, well, you know. It just is what it is. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. My name is Michael Crudden. Very rarely do I make stuff about myself, but I thought, what the hell? There's 2.5 million of you. Might as well. 2.35? Eh, we're getting there. All right, guys, we'll see you in another video. My name is Michael Crudden. You know that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom!